So now what we need to do is we need to configure our trunks. So what we'll do is we'll do a conf t to get to global config mode and we'll say interface range gigabit one slash one to two. And that puts us into configuration interface range mode for our two gigabit ports for these two ports right here. And so the first thing we want to do is we can look at our instructions. We want to manually configure all trunk ports, right? And we do not want to use default VLAN 1, right? So let's do that. So we'll say switch port mode trunk, right? So that turns them into trunk manually, right? Then we'll say switch port trunk allowed VLAN and we'll say 10, 20, 30, right? And then what we're also going to do is we're going to use a VLAN for our native VLAN that is not going to be um, well, it's not going to be, it's going to be our native VLAN. We'll talk about that in a second. So will you switch port trunk allowed VLANs 10, 20, and 30. Notice how I don't put 22 on here. So if somebody's on VLAN 22, they're not going to be allowed to go across this trunk. So we'll do that. So we allow the specific VLANs where our users are located, right? Then we'll say switch port trunk native, right? And we'll say... 91 switch port trunk native VLAN 91 so we set our native VLAN to VLAN 91 right so now our native VLAN is no longer the default VLAN VLAN 1 and our trunks are not going to be using VLAN 1 so so that's important um, the other th commands that we want to use are we'll look right here we're going to we change the default VLAN we change the native default VLAN. We want to disable DTP, dynamic trunking protocol, on all trunk ports. And we want to enable root guard on STP root ports. So for that, we're going to say no, and then a question mark. Let's see here. We want the no negotiate command. Let's take a look here. Switch port trunk native. Switch port no negotiate. Also, we can turn off CDP. All right, and let's do that. Switch port no negotiate. All right, switch port tab no negotiate. All right, there's the no negotiate. If we want to turn off CDP, no CDP enable all right and now these trunk ports are 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 good now there's another command that's recommended here and that is enable root guard on stp root ports now what we want to do is we want to protect our root bridge and we don't want an attacker to be able to take over control by allowing his computer or his switch to become the root bridge and to do that what we can do is we can basically set up the switch so that if packets are sent to the switch with BPDUs that, that, that's, that that's essentially not allowed, right? We don't want that. So what we want to do is we want to um, set up this command right here, spanning tree guard root. And what we want to do is we don't want to allow um, BPDUs to be sent. And what you want to do is you want to set up this command, spanning tree guard root, and you want to put them on root ports. So root ports are ports uh, that point to the root bridge. So in this scenario, it turns out that this switch, S1, is probably the root bridge. Let's just double check. I'll say Control C, and we'll do a show span. Oops, show span tab spanning tree. And let's see here, this bridge is the root. So turns out that this bridge is the root. So we want to do the spanning tree root guard command on these switches on the ports that point to the root bridge. So this is a root port right here, right, on this switch. And this is a root port right here on this switch. 
the root ports are the ports that are closest to the root bridge. So what we could do is we could go into this switch and we'd basically want to configure that port. So we'd say command line interface, enable, conf t, we'd say interface, gig, let's say 1 slash 1, right? And we'd say span tab, spanning tree, question mark, and we're looking for the command root, and then it would be, or guard root, let's see here, guard one, let's try that, guard, and then question mark, root. Set guard mode to root guard on interface. Spanning tree guard root. So now I've enabled spanning tree guard root or root guard on this port right here, which goes to the root bridge. And so now we've actually done all of these steps and, and basically um, put in effect all those commands. And spanning tree guard root. And, but this was done on this case on S2, and we'd want to also do it in this case, copy, paste, on S3. Now a couple other commands that are mentioned in the curriculum that you might want to know is in global config mode you could set the default to port fast on all ports that are not in trunk ports and you can set the default uh, BPDU card to the default for all ports that are not trunk ports. So this global configuration command will make it so that you don't have to individually put it on each ports. Now the way we did it though is we just did it with a range command and then put them on using the range command. Anyway, I hope this was instructive and let you see how you can use some of these switch port configurations and disable and enable certain protocols to help get a secure posture on the network to defend against the various types of attacks.